and then do probably the same thing where we had you walk in and okay. we turn everything on around you. So, what keeps you coming back there? Do you love what you do? Yeah. The rocks. <laughs> the rocks keep me coming back there. <laughs> Hello, my name is Coralie Rodriguez. I am a second year graduate student at the Graduate School of Oceanography at URI. My name is Basha Marks and I work as a curatorial assistant. My name is Danielle Cares. Uh, I guess my new title would be assistant curator. My name is Rebecca Robinson and I'm a professor of oceanography and I'm also the co-director. My name is Katie Kelly and I'm a curator of the Rock Collection at the GSO Rock and Core Repository. For Marine Geologic Samples Laboratory and what it is is basically a library, library of rocks and sediment cores here at URI. It's one of four NSF funded repositories like this. Our facility is used by people within GSO, but we also serve the national and international research communities. Research ships go out, they collect materials from the seafloor and bring it back. So both rocks and sediment cores, which are like little tubes full of mud, taken from the seafloor that we use to reconstruct the history of the earth and the ocean. And those materials then come into our repository and NSF wants to make sure that that material gets as much use as possible. So these rocks really are priceless. They're really important because they're from the bottom of the ocean and it's incredibly difficult to get to the bottom of the ocean. And sometimes it's a once in a career opportunity to go out and um, collect sediment or rocks from a certain place. And so making them accessible for future science, it's really important. One of the things that I enjoy the most about being in the MGSL is the incredible variety of materials that we archive. So for example, we host a lot of samples from the exploration vessel Nautilus. And they bring in rock materials from a really huge variety of settings on the ocean floor. They often go to areas like hydrothermal vents, and so we get some really cool, unique samples that I get to get my hands on. So it's either coated in sort of debris or sediment or mud. Um, sometimes it smells kind of weird. I particularly love playing with the rock saw and cutting rocks, which you don't get to do every day of your life. So I love just like cutting open a rock and discovering what it is on the inside because you usually can't tell from the ROV when they go to pick it up on the seafloor. I've never felt so strong as when I'm using the rock saw. You're like breaking open the earth. And you know, when we did it for a tour of sixth graders, they were like amazed and like they requested it. They had so much fun and that like made me so happy to see them happy. Showing kids what the inaccessible parts of our planet are like. Those kinds of impressions are things that kids will take with them through their whole life. We have things where we can sample sediment cores. So we can go through a sediment core and I can sample discrete chunks of time and I take a tiny bit of mud on the microscope slide and I can look at fossil phytoplankton. Much of what we know about maybe the last 60 to 100 million years of climate comes from sediment cores from the ocean. So getting an understanding for how the Earth has formed and operated in the past is really important to understanding how humans can interact with our planet and what types of things we might experience as a consequence of volcanic eruptions, climate change, etc. I think it's pretty amazing that you can, you know, take a cubic centimeter of sediment and learn something about the Earth a million years ago. We want the general public as a whole to have a higher level of science literacy. I love hearing what inspires other people, what questions they have, where their curiosity has taken them. We're all kind of united in that we all have these kind of underlying questions about Earth. How does this help humanity? How does this relate to hazards? And I think geology could probably get to any of those questions.